Hi everyone, Square Peg Square Hole Coaching here. I know it's been a while since I've done a trip, but today I'm at the University of Maryland. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here today. It's the Penn State Maryland game, so I am here for a little bit of fun later in the day, and if you're lucky, maybe I'll have an opportunity to show you a little bit of the game. But today I want to show you some interesting parts of the school that you might not have known existed before. So stay tuned, today may be a several parter day. University of Maryland is the flagship, flagship school of the Maryland public system. 30,000 undergrads, another 10,000 grads, so it's a really big place. There's 1,300 acres, if you can only imagine. The space is amazing here. Right now, I'm at my new favorite place on campus. It's the labyrinth in the reflection garden, and I'm just gonna give you a brief tour of it. If you can see how cool that is. For those of you who don't know, labyrinths are, people get them confused with mazes, but they're not a maze. They're actually a place where you walk the pathway and it brings you to the center. It's a really centering space. It's, for those of you who like to use the term, a Zen space, but it's a great spot to come and just reflect for a bit. And today, like I said, I'm reflecting on how great University of Maryland is. This place has 12 colleges. You can study almost anything here. Architecture, public policy, public health, engineering, some of their biggest programs, computer science, biology, psychology, criminology, for those of you who are looking to do a little CSI kind of work, um, but economics, finance, business, and what I really like about the school is that they've got a great exploratory program. So if you're not sure what you want to do, it's okay to come here. A lot of students feel like they have to know what they want before they get to campus. Not true. Not at all. A lot of kids will get to campus not only undeclared, but those who come to campus, about a third of them are going to change their mind anyway. So why not come to a place where they allow you to explore and really see what all the opportunities are and what your interest might take you to. Campus has over 100 majors, tons of minors, 800 clubs, and just to give you a feel for some of them, besides the obvious Greek life, which is very popular around here, um, if you're into psychology, there's active minds. If you're into ballroom dancing, you could go do that. Um, there's a clarinet society, which I thought was really interesting, as well as one of my personal favorites, there's crocheting for a cause. Plenty of things to do. Um, if you're into more of the um, biology or the mechanical side, there's also Accessible Prosthetics Initiative. So they help find, um, they help people who need limbs to have them. I mean, they actually build some out of their 3D printing. So really cool place. Um, in terms of demographics, 50-50, just about men, women. So it's an equal space there. About 50% white and the rest is a real mix. So again, really a, a huge mix on campus. Um, it is the iconic space. Uh, many of you, if you think about it, they'll, you'll look for Memorial Chapel. So that's like one of those spaces that looks like um, what you think of when you think about a campus. In terms of some famous alum, you're going to have Jim Henson, the Muppets. My favorite Muppet would happen to be Animal, just saying. Um, some others that you might know, Boomer Esiason, if you're into football, Gail King, if you're into Oprah, and if you're into gymnastics, Dominic Dawes. So there's a lot of po folks who came here for a lot of reasons and did amazing when they came out. All right, so keep, keep watching. Later on today, you'll see me from a few other places. I wonder if you can figure out where I'm going to go. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you this afternoon.